What's going on my PT peeps and my Game of Thrones fans? One Eye Bri back to talk about Game of Thrones and how will it end. Spoiler warning for the entire series of Game of Thrones, but definitely season eight, episode 804, five, six, all that stuff. If you're worried about spoilers, please stop watching now as I don't want to ruin anything for you. Now, we got one episode left this Sunday. It's the series finale, which sucks, but hopefully it's good and memorable. Now we've lost a lot of cast members, but there's a lot of cast members left. We have Grey Worm, Danny, John, Gilly, Sam, Brienne, Bran, also known as the Three-Eyed Raven, Sansa, Arya, Ser Davos, and Tyrion in this picture, but also Bronn and a couple other characters for sure. But who makes it out, who lives, and who wins? the Game of Thrones. Now I know a lot of people are pissed at this season, but they gotta wrap it up one way or another. Now if we look at the trailer for season eight, episode six, the series finale, we're gonna see King's Landing and the wreckage and the aftermath after Danny, what she did with Drogon. We'll see Sir Davos and Jon most likely walking through King's Landing and then we'll see Tyrion walking around and Tyrion's like, yep, she didn't take my advice, but can you blame Daenerys? Part of me is like, nope, and part of me is like, you didn't have to go that big, Daenerys. We got the point, we got the picture, you just need to take out Cersei. You didn't have to burn up all of King's Landing because look at all that, it's terrible. And I guess she's all about ruling by fear. And I don't blame her from that aspect, but she didn't have to kill everybody. And when she was burning up King's Landing, how did she know she wasn't burning up her own people? And did she care? We see Arya is still in King's Landing. Some people thought she left on the White Horse. We'll talk about that in a second. Don't worry about that. But ultimately, Arya is going to be a point of emphasis. You see her walking towards, I guess, the main building of King's Landing, and then she's looking up probably at Daenerys at the steps. But is Arya going to take out Daenerys? Is it Jon? Who actually wins? who succeeds, do you like the idea of Daenerys doing what she did and basically setting up Daenerys versus Jon, well, Daenerys versus Aegon? And do you think that Arya will take out Daenerys? I think so. I think that's been the big thing. Was it Cersei? Was it Danny? Do they both have green eyes? Does Danny have purple eyes and this eyes and this and green eyes and blue eyes and brown eyes? Either way, if Danny has blue eyes, it still fits for what Melisandre said. Brown eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. It fits if it's green or blue eyes for Daenerys. Well, we'll see what happens and I'm excited to see how it ends. There's so many unsullied. And to be honest, I thought they lost way more of the soldiers at the Battle of Winterfell, but it looks like they lost half and that was still more than enough to take King's Landing. And I wonder what happens with the Unsullied and Grey Worm and Tyrion and everybody left. And the talk was that the big battles were episode 803 and 805 and they were, but now we're on episode 806. So what happens here? Is there any more battles, any more fighting, or is it just more story driven for the final episode of Game of Thrones? There's a lot of Dothraki, there's a lot of Unsullied, there's a lot of army for Daenerys still. How do they get to Daenerys? It has to be someone she trusts, and I think that's Jon, because Jon says that Daenerys is her queen. But looking at it, look at all those people there. Look at everyone there that is really there for Daenerys. And I think the only way she falls is by Jon or by Arya somehow being the faceless man and being stealthy. But as for Daenerys, if she gets killed, what's happened with Drogon? Do they just kill the dragon as well? because Daenerys is the mother of dragons, but Jon is also connected with the dragons because he's a Targaryen. And will he run King's Landing and be King Aegon Targaryen? I don't know, but that's a possibility for sure. But I also know that Kit Harington told his wife, Rose, who played Egret on the show, about the ending and how it ended. And she wouldn't talk to him for a couple days. So he does something or something big happens that really bothered her. So if she's bothered by it, what's it gonna do to the fans? So the story of Game of Thrones is coming to an end and it's come a long way and so has Daenerys. And some people love it, some people hate it, some people hate what the last season has turned into and really kind of negates a lot of the story previously told, but we'll see what happens in the finale. But a lot of people are pissed at what Danny's turned into. And let's talk about Varys for a little bit. He's gone, but what he did with the scrolls Sending them out to people, who did he send it to? Who did he send the scrolls talking about Aegon Targaryen as Jon Snow and he's the true heir 
to the Iron Throne. Also, I talked with my wife this morning about the episode last night, episode 805, and it kind of went over my head that Varys was probably trying to poison Daenerys and use the little girl to get to her food, but Danny wasn't eating. So that was kind of interesting, and I never really thought about it until this morning. But Aegon Targaryen, is he going to run the Seven Kingdoms? But he doesn't want it, and he gets promoted like anyone I've ever seen in a TV show. He becomes leader of the Night's Watch, King of the North, and then maybe even the leader of the Seven Kingdoms. But if you think about it, if Aegon Targaryen, also known as Jon Snow, if he was just with Danny right here and was all about her and they were going to get married or whatever they were going to do here, it just would have been possibly Danny not burning up all of King's Landing. But that didn't happen. As for her burning up King's Landing, it was pretty great. It looked pretty great. It was a great way of doing it. It looked good. The CGI was pretty amazing. Euron Greyjoy finally was taken out. We didn't get Yara, we didn't get Dario, we just got really the characters that have been seen the past couple episodes. But Euron was a character that was pretty terrible, and I'm not sure if anybody liked this guy, but the actor did a great job, and he was definitely a character that we did not like. Even though they killed Rhaegal pretty easily with the Scorpions, and then they really only fired a couple bolts at Drogon that we saw, maybe there were more. But as for Jaime and Cersei, a lot of people are like, we have to see the bodies. They could have survived. And I highly doubt it, but I'm with you. We do have to see the bodies. But Jamie was stabbed twice and he was bleeding pretty badly and they had nowhere to go and they were surrounded and King's Landing surrounded. I mean, how could they get out anywhere to go? But the building crumbled, so I'm guessing they're getting killed. This is one of the best shots of the episode. It's pretty badass and I loved it. I like the fight scenes. I like the battle. It wasn't much of a battle. King's Landing was pretty weak at protecting King's Landing, and Davos is actually there on the winning side for once. Yay, Davos! But Jon clearly saw a side of Grey Worm and everybody there that was like, this is not what we want to do. We do not want to do this. We wanted to take King's Landing but keep everybody. And Grey Worm's like, it's Sunday! And he just started taking people out. And I don't blame him, but it went a little overboard. As for Dracarys everywhere, fire everywhere, and some people aren't understanding about the dragon fire and the wildfire burning up the buildings, burning up the streets, blowing up the buildings, because the wildfire was all over King's Landing. Cersei left it there, I'm guessing, right? So it was blowing up stuff left and right. But I really did like the small moment where the Hound, still looking after Arya, was like, if you go up there with me, you're gonna get killed. And I'm glad she went away because Arya is definitely one of the biggest badass characters on the show. And we'll see what she does next episode. But as for the Hound versus the Mountain in the Clegane Bowl was pretty good. It was a little much, a little crazy. They made the Mountain basically indestructible, even when he gets stabbed all over the place. But the Hound versus the Mountain, we finally got it. And did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you think it was too much? I just love this shot right here. It's one of the badass pictures of the series. You got the Hound versus the Mountain with Drogon and Danny flying by. Pretty awesome stuff, and I'm glad we finally got it. But as for Tyrion, what happens with Tyrion? And he's the last Lannister. And if I saw Tyrion, I'd be like, you need to get out of here because it's crazy here. I'm not sure if Danny's going to listen to anybody but herself now. She's like, I took the city. I did this. I'm ruling by fear not by mercy, even though she said it in episode 805 and was like, nah, changed my mind. I'm here now and let's take over this place. And what if Danny just left and was like, people don't love me here. They fear me here. So I can always come back and let them know I ain't gone anywhere. But I doubt it, right? As for this group here, it was sad. I felt bad for them, even though we never met these people before. It was like, we're supposed to feel for these people right away. We had never met them before. But Arya was saving the day, or trying to at least, right? And I wonder if that group just stayed in the building they were at, would they have lived? But Arya was clearly highlighted at the end. We saw her in the trailer. She's still in King's Landing. And what was up with the white horse? Where did that come from, right? Is it symbolic to Khal Drogo and Daenerys? And is it something that is showing that Danny is going to be taken out by Arya. And it could be symbolic of that, or it could be nothing at all. We'll have to wait and see in the series finale, which is this Sunday. It's going down one way or another. But I think John is responsible for taking out Danny. Or they both kill each other, or John kills her by accident, defending himself from the Unsullied, 
and or the Dothraki, but I just feel like it's not gonna be this happy ending because Danny is all about running the Seven Kingdoms and ruling things, and she's so pissed that Aegon Targaryen is Jon Snow and he's the rightful heir to the throne and a lot of people know it. So how's it gonna end? How's it going down? Probably gonna piss a lot of people off. It's tough to have a great last season and a series finale. We'll see this Sunday how it goes down, but how will it end? How do you think it ends? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Is it the Starks versus the Targaryens? I can't wait to find out one way or another. And please, guys, hit that subscribe button to become a valued member of our PT channel family. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it. It's about love, support, staying positive, making memories, and Dracarys. See ya.